All right, back for another review. So, gonna review battery charger today. Now, what I found that works for us is a Victron, Victron Energy, it's a blue smart charger, uh, 12 volt, 15 amp. All right, so then it has a single output. Good thing for us that we found Bluetooth, so we can monitor this from external. What we found with this one, it's a single output, all right, but it is fused. So that works well. So at the moment, just got a rudimentary little basic setup to charge the battery. All right, don't mind the wires everywhere. Some of that's for, most of that's for battery monitor, all that black wiring over there. So we've got a single red, single black coming off there to the battery and then positive running to the shunt for the monitoring. All right, but there also is a big advantage with this one is the fact that you can run 12 volt items up to 15 amps that we've found without a battery. All right, so let's just say you're at a caravan park or what have you, uh, or you're parked up at home for an extended period of time with the caravan, rather than putting power back into the battery to then drain it to run your 12 volt items, um, we run our fridge just off the battery charger and not off the battery, but charging the battery at the same time, just to replenish that power. So what we'll do is we'll take a, uh, I'll have I'll, a screen record and we'll leave that over here. Now with this one, you've got to log in. Um, usually I think it's four zeros or six zeros, one of the two. So yeah, go into find your device, uh, and after this one, we're just going to find our battery charger. That'll be there. Now you want to you can have it set to charge. Now at the moment, I've got mine set up to the battery, so it's not really going to affect it. But if you had a 12 volt device and it was set to battery, it's not actually going to turn the item on. It's not going to do any damage that I found. All right, so this is just what my result is. Um, of my testing doesn't mean anything so the suggestion would be disconnect it before you change it over to power or disconnect it before you put it on charge mode go into here and then you want to come up to the settings all right and then here in settings you want to change it from charger to 12 volt supply and then you can come back over to status and then that'll show you the, the readout there. So it'll give you the voltage and the amp draw. Now your fridge may cycle. If you can say you're running a fridge, it'll cycle on and off from time to time. Um, but yeah, the, the charger will give a constant 12 volts and the fridge will just turn on and off when it, when it needs power. So after that, let's just say you're charging your battery, right? Or you're accessing the, the app, all the little red lights will start flashing all over the place, right? So it'll actually give you what mode you're set it to for battery um, and the state of charge. So bulk mode's usually where it starts off. It starts absorbing, floats, starts bringing the voltage down. And then if you've got no drawer on it, it'll go into storage. Oh, so as we connect it up to the battery, I just got it set on battery charge. Now we're just doing some testing before with the induction. So at the moment it's back on a bulk charge. Uh, now because I haven't got the battery charger linked up to the shunt negative, it's not getting the input voltage, right? But We've also been having issues with the battery monitor as well, even with stuff connected to the negative. So, yeah. So at the moment we've got it set on lithium ion, uh, which is about 13.2 volts at uh, 15 amps. Now, depending on your battery, you can have that higher to set at 13.6 um, with a bulk charge of 14.6 and it'll reduce down to 13.6 once it's finished. But just simple user um, suggestion would be set it to lithium ion um, and then let it run through or go on storage 
I think I paid 200, 200, 220 bucks for this one. There's a 15 amp. Now they do make a 30 amp version of this as well. And I think that's roughly around about $300 off the top of my head. But look, it is a little bit higher on the price, but given the fact that you're charging lithium and the fact that it comes with an app is very beneficial for us. But yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.